time do you think we have? At best, maybe four or five days, Mr. Barkley. Are you sure you can't do anything more with that pump? I'm positive. You don't get another one in here, you can write this mine off. Well, wait a minute, the Dunham mine has a pump. They're using it. Lucky Star's got one coming up from San Francisco, but they don't figure it'll get here for another ten weeks. Mr. Barkley? Oh, Jared, any luck? Yeah, I found out they're auctioning off the pump over at Sally Rosa. Now, Peterson says it's big enough to do the job if we can get it here in time. We'll get it here. How much money does it cost? $5,000 minimum bid. But cash. Oh. It's a government bankruptcy sale, and they won't accept a bank draft without holding the merchandise until it clears. That holds up two or three weeks. Well, that's too late, Mr. Barkley. I know. And another, wait a minute. Anyone else trying for it? No. All we have to have is the cash. Well, then we'll just have to get the cash. That's not so easy, Nick. It's a weekend. Oh. But I figured we could telegraph Heath at home. Now, he could go into Stockton and dig up the cash somehow. And if he really pushes, he could meet us in Sala Rosa in time for the sale. Well, what are you waiting now? Why don't you get going? Keep your feet dry. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Mr. Barkley. Got that keg of beer? You bet I have. Nice and chill. Just right for the picnic. Good enough. Beats me where you get the muscle. From playing the pipes, boy. Say, have you heard from your brothers? Not a word. Spare a little? <laughs> What's the big occasion? Oh, a poker game. And a bloody one. Who's playing? Well, Lee Martinson. His spider Martinson. Local talisman tried to take him. Professional? Not sure, but I'll tell you this, he's too good for them fellas. Say, why don't you take him on? <laughs> That'll be the day. King, nine, up. I'll give you a hand with the keg. Wait a minute, isn't that Jack Carpenter playing? Yeah. I'll get it in a minute. What's it to me? Two dollars, that is, if you want to play. I'll give you a marker. You sure you're good for the two dollars? Listen, you. You work around here. No. Maybe you own a few thousand acres of land? Are you making fun of me, mister? No. Just trying to find out whether you're good for two dollars. Anyone here can vouch for this man? No? No job, no money in the bank? Maybe you own a gold mine or a gold watch. I'll take any kind of collateral at all, mister. No collateral, no game. Anybody here wants to lend you two dollars, see you through this pot, you're in. If not, you're holding up the game. Let's see, that's two dollars to me, and I'll raise it five. All right, I'll call that and raise you five more. Up another five. Call. What do you got? Two pair. King's high. It's your pot. Thanks for the game. Oh, we're only just beginning, Mr. Carpenter. Now that the pikers are out, why don't you and I play a little real poker? I've had enough. Anybody else want to play? Heath, he's too sharp for me anyway, but you're the best poker player in town. Whiskey. I'd like to play with the best poker player in town. Maybe some other time. 
No, no, wait, please. Do sit down, mister. I'm sorry I didn't catch your name. Where's my... Clumsy, stupid. Pretty hard. Got some place we can play? In the back. Grab yourself some feet. Easy now, boy. Easy. Hand me that pillow there. Right. Say, he's got a nasty bump on the head, lad. I'd better send for a doctor. Don't worry, the doctor will be here soon. Why don't you sit down? He treats you that way all the time? No, not all the time. Do you have a good doctor here? Sure do. And banged heads are a specialty. Where are you from? Moria. Where's that? It's an island near Tahiti. I don't think I've heard of it. It has a reef, and you can hear the surf pounding on it all over the island. There are butterflies. And the beaches are black, with black sand. There is a mountain in the center of the island, with clouds around it in a circle. It is called La Cujon. Sounds nice. Yes. And it smells good, too. There are Chari Tahiti going all over the island. Chari. That's my name. Chari Fahre. I'm Heath Barkley. Morris, he said it was an emergency. I'm waiting for a baby to be born. You're lucky. If he'd hit his head an inch more to the right, the sheriff would be here instead of me. He was slapping the girl around. He has the right to. Nobody has that right. You're wrong. I belong to him. You mean you're his wife? No. He bought me. I'm his property. Oh. He's coming, too. Might be a good idea if he doesn't see you. I can't stand to have anybody dying on my property. You know, it's against my policy, but I'm about to buy a drink on the house. Oh, Mrs. Barkley. Piper. Good day to you, ma'am. Keith, I'm glad I caught you before you left. This came for you. There's trouble at the mine. I say there's trouble. It's flooding. Where are we going to get $5,000 with the banks all closed? Well, that's the other reason I came. Piper, we need $5,000. $5,000? Now, where would I be getting that kind of money? You get it out of your safe. Safe? Are you? What safe? Oh, Piper, you've been in the loan business that I know of for the past five years. How much interest are you charging now? 15%? 20%? Now, what a thing to say. Piper, we need $5,000 now. But it would take away my working capital for the weekend. Suppose I get a run at the faro table. Sell some more beer. I'm sorry, Mrs. Barkley. There's nobody on earth I'd rather help than you, but I just... Piper, do you remember how we first met? Well, I don't think I know to what you're referring. Well, let me refresh your memory. When you first came to town, you needed money to buy this place. All right. See, you lent me a little money. A little? 
Well, maybe $1,500 doesn't seem a lot to you now, but it was a matter of life or death then, wasn't it? $5,000. $5,000. All right. I'll sell a little more beer. I checked. There's a train leaving in a few hours. It connects with the stage to Sally Rosa. Here's a change of clothes and your razor. Well, if I don't get there in time, I'll know what to do with the razor. <laughs> now, just take it easy. You'll be all right after a little rest. Yeah, thanks. Well, I must be off. But if you have any headaches or anything tomorrow, uh, you might stop by my office. Keep your hands off. What's the matter hit me? Here you are, Mrs. Barkley, 5,000. Uh, do you want to count it? Oh, that won't be necessary. I'll have the bank repay you first thing Monday morning. Uh, plus interest. Do, yes, ma'am. Well, how about dinner before I catch the train? Good. We'll go to the hotel. I understand they have nice, fresh lobster. Get our stuff ready. We've got a train to catch. But the doctor said you should rest. That doctor doesn't know what's on that train with me. I wouldn't miss it if I had a broken leg. Barkley, I wish to apologize for my behavior at our previous meeting. It's all right. I always forget. No, no. Our boorish conduct is never really forgotten. It's merely excused. And that's the most I have the right to expect of you. How's your head? Better. You mind if we join you? Sit down, Thierry. I'll be right back. I'm going to scout up some cigars. Thirty miles an hour. It beats walking. In Morea, if we were going this fast, we would soon find ourselves in the sea, swimming. In water so blue, so clear. What's the name of that place again? Morea? You miss it, don't you? Is your family there? Yes. All my fathers and all my mothers. All your fathers and mothers? Our ways are different from yours. When we are young, we have many fathers and many mothers. It's like an uncle is a father and an aunt is a mother. And one has many uncles and many aunts. And in every house, you're welcome. It's like having a family of many families. Where did you meet Martinson? My first father took me to Fiji two years ago. But he fell sick and died. And I had no way to go back to Tahiti. Martinson was working there, and when he went away, I went away with him. But not to Tahiti? No, not to Tahiti. Care for a drink? No, thanks. Cigar? No. Find out when the club car opens. Paid $50 for her in Fiji. Worth every cent of it. Why well, haven't you noticed? I'll give you a hundred. Oh, she's not for sale. Not yet, anyway. I don't want her for myself. Then why buy her? To send her home. I'll send her home myself in due time. So, you're the best poker player in Stockton. People exaggerate. Sometimes. Might try a few hands, find out. Poker's a passion with me. No, thanks. Didn't think you'd scare out. I don't. Then how about it? 
You will. Sooner or later, you will. But change here. Change here for Sally Rosa. Well, this is where I get off. This is where we get off. Didn't mention you were going to Sally Rosa. You didn't ask. Yes, Mr. Barkley, you're going to be sharing the pleasure of our company. Isn't he, Tiare? I'll get that. Thank you, Mr. Barkley. Well, we mustn't spoil her. She's frightened. I told her about the Indian massacre here, and she's been having nightmares ever since. Well, I wouldn't worry too much about that. No one's seen an unfriendly Indian in these parts for more than a year. Besides which, Mr. Barclay's a crack shot. He'll defend your honor, your scalp, and his $5,000. Come to think of it, better off losing that money to me than turning it over to those savages. You seem to be well informed. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Barclay. I won't steal it from you. And you won't win it either. Ah! All right, folks. Everybody out. Dry wells. some food. If you want me to change the horses, I can't get the food. I'll change the horses. Then I'll get the food. Good. Today we have tamale pie. And tomorrow, too. Uh, por favor, siéntese. Uh, please sit down. Gracias. Uh, must have left my cigars on the stage. Excuse me. Got my cigars.
Gosh darn it. Everybody all right? I think so. Well, you're gonna have to ride the horses back to the station. Be another coach along in the morning. That's too late. I gotta be in Sally Rosa tomorrow afternoon. Well, that's all right, Mr. Barkley. You're welcome to one of the horses. I appreciate it. Now, we'll be going along with Mr. Barkley. I have urgent business in Sally Rosa, too. Mister, with a little lady there, it's 40 miles from here. You'll have to bunk down tonight. The food is nothing but what you can catch. You know, that station ain't much, but it, it's bound to be more comfortable. Thanks, but uh, we'll keep Mr. Barkley company. That is, if you don't mind. No, not at all. Well, take what you want from your baggage. The rest will arrive by stage. We've got a few extra blankets if you need them. Ma'am, it ain't going to be no joyride. Much farther. 20, 25 miles. What time is your auction? Auction's at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, but I figure we can make Sally Rosa easy by noon. I'm sorry. Riding 20 miles without a saddle, you must be pretty tired. A little bit. Martinson, tie up those horses. Gather up some firewood. I'm going to see if I can scout up some dinner. Aye, aye, sir. But uh, just give me one moment, please. What's that for? Coffee. Go on, fill this up. We don't have any coffee. Man said take what you need from your baggage. Never travel without coffee, my own special blend. Go on, Terry. But the stream is so far away. That's two, three hundred yards back there. Go on, get going. What if... Well, if any Indians show up, just invite them over for coffee. Martinson, you want your canteen filled up, you fill it up. All right, Barkley. You're in charge here. Well, if you're so scared, why don't you go along with him? She's going to stay right here and just rest. Is that all right? Well, I don't hold with it. man treats you like a princess, you might wish he was your master. But I guess I'll just have to grin and bear it. Try to bring back a nice plump partridge, Barkley. I'll do that. Exactly partridge, but uh, close, Barkley. Time close. Hmm. You eat much better in the wilderness than I expected. How'd you get them? Oh, good luck. Well, now. You really feel lucky. Uh, how about a little, uh... Not that lucky. All right. You didn't have to run down some apple pie for the coffee, did you? Sorry. And here I was about to dub you the perfect Western male. All right. I'll dub you uh, Sir Heath, the almost perfect Western male. It gives me something to shoot for. You know, Renaissance man made a virtue of thought. You people have made a virtue of self-sufficiency. Well, if we don't, we die. I know. And that's the most interesting thing of all. You know, I make my living by finding and knowing weaknesses in other men. You know, the one of the few I've ever met who doesn't seem to have any. Now, you don't seem to be concerned with any of the seven deadly sins. Yet, like all men, you must be vulnerable to something. Tell me, Barkley, what do you think your Achilles heel might be? Well, I get cold when the temperature drops below freezing. And yeah, it's dropping pretty fast right now. Better get some firewood. Oh, no, please. Allow me. You young people, uh, amuse yourselves.
Well, we could do the dishes if we had any. <laughs> You're not like anyone I've ever met. Well, I don't know whether that's a compliment or not, but thank you. Martinson says you're very rich. Rich? I guess you could say I'm rich. I got people that love me, people I love, nice home, and I like my work. I guess you could say I'm rich. Yes, people who love you, that makes you very rich. You'll go back to your family one day, I'm sure. These people who love you, one of them is a girl, is she not? One of them? Yes. A man such as you must have many girls. Are they prettier than me? Well, let's see. There's, there's Jennifer. She's very fair and very different from you. But prettier? I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing about Jennifer. She's not afraid of Indians. I'm not afraid of Indians. No? No. Well, you sure could have fooled me. Well, maybe a little bit. But not when you're here. Not now. Didn't strain yourself, did you? Well, it's pretty dark back there. Maybe we could bundle together, share some of our body warmth. Want to go get some more firewood? Well, for a minute there, I thought you and our young hero, Barkley, uh... Why didn't you let him kiss you? Why are you doing this? Doing what? Pushing you at him? Yes. Tiare, do you know what an Achilles heel is? No. Now you will, my sweet. You will. Mr. Barkley, and we'll go as nice and quiet as we come, with nobody hurt. Don't make any quick moves, Mr. Barkley. There's another gun looking down your back. Just hand me the money, nice and easy. Barkley! Long chance. Why? Oh, I didn't come all this way to see you lose that five thousand dollars to a couple of tin horn bandits. Thanks, Martinson. But if you think I owe you that poker game, you're wrong. I thought you might be the kind of man who'd repay one favor with another. But no matter. Like every good poker player, I may still have myself an ace in the hole.
understand the stage broke down. Mr. Beamer don't like to be kept waiting unless he's got a mighty good excuse. Yes, I know. Mr. Thurman, this is Mr. Barkley. You've met Tiari. Let's get going like I said. I know, I know. Mr. Beamer hates to be kept waiting. Well, he's just going to have to wait a little while longer, at least until I've had a bath. I got a short bath, Martinson. Don't push your luck. Well, I guess I'd better get a receipt for these horses. Well, goodbye, Mr. Barkley. Thank you very much. Goodbye, Tiari. Tiari. I said, inside! I'm sorry, but there's no time left. You're my only chance. You, you're his Achilles heel. You, Tiari, my only hope is you. Did he beat you? Well, you're going to leave him now. No. I'm going to put you on a stage for San Francisco. No. But you can't stay with him. But I can't leave him. I told you that. I'm his property. Where is he? I don't want you to fight. I don't intend to. Is he in his room? He went to the saloon. You go back in the hotel lobby and wait for me. It'll be all right, I promise. Getting up, Barkley. So you might just as well sit down. I'll buy her. Sit down and play. Three hundred. Nope. Name it. Five thousand. You rotten excuse for a. All right. I'll get it for you. Now. I need it now. I can't give you that money. You can't give it to me, but we can play for it. I told you once you'd play cards with me. If you beat me, she's yours. I'll put up Tiari for $5,000 worth of chips. Tomorrow. Hold off to tomorrow. There's no tomorrow, not for me, Barkley. If you want her, you'll play for her. And right now, you've got yourself a game. Call. Seven. Four. Hundred dollars. Up a hundred. Call. Six. Pair. 
There are fours. That's a hundred. Make it two. A call. Pair of sevens. Oh, look. Three fours. Oh, that was quick and easy. Try again. Deal. Deal. Jack Bitch. Worth every cent of five thousand dollars, huh? Your bet. You think I should have let us starve in Fiji? Bet. Jack bets a hundred. Call. Deuce. Ten. Jack bets. One hundred dollars. Raise your hundred. Nine. Pair of tens. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Pair of deuces. Queen. Still my bet. So go ahead. $500. Your $500 and another hundred. Your hundred dollars up $500. and deuces. Never bet when you're angry. Bet. I'll bet the rest of it. Five hundred dollars. I'll see that. Three fives. Oh, that's good enough. Maybe your luck has changed. Maybe it has. Deal. <laughs>
name Gorman? That's right, Len Gorman. Jared Barkley. This is my brother Nick. How you doing? Nice meeting you. Got your telegraph. The pump was up for sale first. Go on inside. We'll be starting things right on the dot. Now, just a minute. You wouldn't know offhand if our brother Heath Barkley's shown up. No, sir. Anybody who's showed up so far is local. Yeah, well, don't worry, Nick. He'll be here soon. Let's go inside and check that pump. Yeah. Let's see. That's, uh... 500. And 500 more. Well, I'll just see your 500. What do you have? Full house, kings. Good hand. Darn good. Four deuces. <laughs> Stay with him. He won you fair and square. You stay with him. You in a hurry, Martinson? I thought I'd save you a little trip out to the ranch. You were coming out to the ranch, weren't you? I haven't got the money, Beamer. Oh? Well, that's a pity for you, that is. Because I'd much rather have the girl. So would you, wouldn't you? I haven't got the girl either. Oh. Well, that's even more of a pity. Because our deal was either you pay me the money or I get the girl. I don't believe you ever intended parting with her, did you? Did you, Martinson? I'll get you the money. Pleasure. I'm gonna have to take this out of your hide. I'll win you the money. Just give me a chance. You're kind of lean. You don't have much meat on you, boy. <laughs> and that's about two dollars worth. I've got a lot more to go before I settle up with you, Martinson. <laughs> You're free. How does it feel? It feels fine. I mean, it's wonderful. You're well rid of him. You must know that. Yes, I'm well rid of him. It's just that when he left, he looked so... I've never seen him like that. He ran. And he's not a man who runs. Well, he figured to win, and he lost. He lost you. It's bound to shake him up some. Perhaps. You're going to the auction with me, and after it's over, I'm going to take you back to Stockton. From there, I'm going to put you on a train to San Francisco. And then, from there, you can get passage home. Thank you. Thank you. He's a lousy welcher! Ha! Help me get him up. No. Just, just leave me alone. I'll be all right in a minute. <coughs> like got two minutes. Oh, why did they do this to you? Why? Maybe because I'm lucky. Just call me Lucky Martins. That's not a joke, Barkley. And like Beamer, they kill better men than me for welshing on gambling debts. So, uh, consider me lucky. 
Mr. Beamer, in San Francisco. That's when you lost money to him. And he said he would forget the money if you... Yeah, yeah, that's right. I couldn't give you up. Not to him. So that's why you wanted the money. You play a better game than I ever dreamed, Martinson. Thanks. But only winning counts. Listen, I'll take that hand now. I, I can make it all right now. Yes, I can take care of him. Thank you. That's what I figured. Oh, wait, Barkley. You go with him. No, I mean it, Barkley. One way or another, I pay my debts. Tell me, what should I do? Well, it's up to you to decide. You're free. But if it's him you want, you better get him before he falls down. You're a man with everything a girl would want. Martinson, he has nothing but me. Thank you very much for understanding. We're getting on the stage now, Mr. Martinson. Inside, gentlemen, the sale's starting. Uh, Mr. Gorman, I don't imagine you can manage the whole things up for a few minutes. I'm sure my brother will be... Sorry, here. gents, if it was up to me, but this is a government auction. All kinds of rules, and one of them is we got to start on time. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, look, we got a mine that's flooding out. We need that pump. Now, we understand your problems, Mr. Gorman. Believe me, we do. But could you just hold the sale of the pump until last? I told you, this is a government auction. I gotta go by the catalog. Real sorry. Well, we tried. I guess we can just kiss that mine goodbye. Well, I'm gonna kiss that brother of ours. Oh, am I gonna kiss him? Well, here comes your chance. Heath. Now, not that we were getting worried, but another couple of minutes, and where have you been? Oh, the stage broke down. Oh, that's very interesting. Did you bring cash? Yeah. Honey, huh? Yeah. Did you have any trouble getting it? No, no trouble. Heath. Yeah, be right there. time do you think we have? At best, maybe four or five days, Mr. Barkley. Are you sure you can't do anything more with that pump? I'm positive. If you don't get another one in here, you can write this mine off. 
Wait a minute, the Donovan mine has a pump. They're using it. Lucky Star's got one coming up from San Francisco, but they don't figure it'll get here for another 10 weeks. Mr. Barkley. Hello, Jared. Any luck? Yeah, I found out they're auctioning off a pump over at Sally Rosa. Now, Peterson says it's big enough to do the job if we can get it here in time. We'll get it here. How much money does it cost? $5,000, minimum bid. But cash. Oh. It's a government bankruptcy sale, and they won't accept a bank draft without holding the merchandise until it clears. That holds up two or three weeks. Well, that's too late, Mr. Barkley. I know. Now, 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 wait a minute. Anyone else trying for it? No? All we have to have is the cash. And then we'll just have to get the cash. That's not so easy, Nick. It's a weekend. Oh. But I figured we could telegraph Heath at home. Now, he could go into Stockton and dig up the cash somehow. And if he really pushes, he could meet us in Sala Rosa in time for the sale. Well, what are you waiting now? Why don't you get going? Keep your feet dry. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Barkley. Got that keg of beer? You bet I have. Nice and chill. Just right for the picnic. Good enough. Beats me where you get the muscle. From playing the pipes, boy. Say, have you heard from your brothers? Not a word. Spare a little? <laughs> What's the big occasion? Oh, a poker game. And a bloody one. Who's playing? Holiday Martinson. His spider Martinson. Local talisman trying to take him. Professional? I'm not sure, but I'll tell you this, he's too good for them fellas. Say, why don't you take him on? <laughs> That'll be the day. King, I, up. I'll give you a hand with the keg. Wait a minute, isn't that Jack Carpenter playing? Yeah. I'll get it in a minute. What's it to me? Two dollars. That is, if you want to play. I'll give you a marker. You sure you're good for the two dollars? Listen, you. You work around here. No. And maybe you own a few thousand acres of land? You making fun of me, mister? No. Just trying to find out whether you're good for two dollars. Anyone here can vouch for this man? No? No job, no money in the bank? Maybe you own a gold mine or a gold watch. I'll take any kind of collateral at all, mister. No collateral, no game. Anybody here wants to lend you two dollars, see you through this pot, you're in. If not, you're holding up the game. Let's see, that's two dollars to me, and I'll raise it five. All right, I'll call that and raise you five more. Up another five. Call. What do you got? Two pair. King's high. It's your pot. Thanks for the game. Oh, we're only just beginning, Mr. Carpenter. Now that the pikers are out, why don't you and I play a little real poker? I've had enough. Anybody else want to play? Heath, he's too sharp for me anyway, but you're the best poker player in town. Whiskey. I'd like to play with the best poker player in town. Maybe some other time.
time do you think we have? At best, maybe four or five days, Mr. Barkley. Are you sure you can't do anything more with that pump? I'm positive. You don't get another one in here, you can write this mine off. Well, wait a minute, the Dunavant mine has a pump. They're using it. Lucky Star's got one coming up from San Francisco, but they don't figure it'll get here for another 10 weeks. Mr. Barkley? Hello, oh, Jared. Any luck? Yeah, I found out they're auctioning off a pump over at Sally Rosa. Now, Peterson says it's big enough to do the job if we can get it here in time. We'll get it here. How much money does it cost? $5,000 minimum bid. But cash. Oh. It's a government bankruptcy sale, and they won't accept a bank draft without holding the merchandise until it clears. That holds up two or three weeks. Well, that's too late, Mr. Barkley. I know. And now, now, wait a minute. Anyone else trying for it? No. All we have to have is the cash. And then we'll just have to get the cash. That's not so easy, Nick. It's a weekend. Oh. But I figured we could telegraph Heath at home. Now, he could go into Stockton and dig up the cash somehow. And if he really pushes, he could meet us in Sala Rosa in time for the sale. Well, what are you waiting now? Why don't you get going? Keep your feet dry. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Barkley. Got that keg of beer? You bet I have. Nice and chill. Just right for the picnic. Good enough. Beats me where you get the muscle. From playing the pipes, boy. Say, have you heard from your brothers? Not a word. Spare a little? <laughs> What's the big occasion? Oh, a poker game. And a bloody one. Who's playing? Well, name Martinson. It's Spider Martinson. Local talisman trying to take him. Professional? Not sure, but I'll tell you this, he's too good for them fellas. Say, why don't you take him on? <laughs> That'll be the day. King, nine, seven. I'll give you a hand with the keg. Wait a minute, isn't that Jack Carpenter playing? Yeah. I'll get it in a minute. What's it to me? Two dollars, that is, if you want to play. I'll give you a marker. You sure you're good for the two dollars? Listen, you. You work around here. No. Maybe you own a few thousand acres of land? You making fun of me, mister? No. Just trying to find out whether you're good for two dollars. Anyone here can vouch for this man? No? No job, no money in the bank? Maybe you own a gold mine or a gold watch. I'll take any kind of collateral at all, mister. No collateral, no game. Anybody here wants to lend you two dollars, see you through this pot, you're in. If not, you're holding up the game. Let's see, that's two dollars to me, and I'll raise it five. All right, I'll call that and raise you five more. Up another five. Call. What do you got? Two pair. King's high. It's your pot. Thanks for the game. We're only just beginning, Mr. Carpenter. Now that the pikers are out, why don't you and I play a little real poker? I've had enough. Anybody else want to play? Easy's too sharp for me anyway, but you're the best poker player in town. Whiskey. I'd like to play with the best poker player in town. Maybe some other time. 
No, no, wait, please. Do sit down, mister. I'm sorry I didn't catch your name. Where's my... Clumsy, stupid... Thank you. 